Hi, everybody, and welcome back to In the Kitchen. I'm a mother of four, it's really busy, and time is tight. I was able to return to college because of the Community College Opportunity Grant, a free tuition grant. Hudson County Community College changed my life. The college community made me feel like a person, not just a number. The Community College Opportunity Grant covers additional costs while keeping me debt free. I'm building a new future at Hudson County Community College. Hi everybody and welcome back to In The Kitchen. I'm back, I'm back. I have a good show this evening for you, a really good show. My guest is a good friend of mine. Her name is Dana Royster. I met her through another friend of, you know how you meet people, etc., cetera, et cetera. Um, One of my best friends, Deborah, the one who always goes the best. Well, Dana is not a chef per se, she is a home cook. And she's come aboard to sit back and talk about her, her cooking at home and, and her career. She's um, with the church and everything. I mean, it's all put together. It's a beautiful package and she's gonna talk with you, with me in a few minutes. Outside of that, I have one of my favorite dishes and I know it's yours also, crab cakes. Yes, crab cakes. And let me tell you, these will not fall apart. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've made crab cakes in the beginning, and let me tell you, I went to lift them and put them in the pan, and the thing was falling apart. These will not fall apart. The recipe is from a good friend of mine, and he was on the show about three weeks ago, two to three weeks ago, Chef Claude Lewis. Remember him? He won CHOP in May 2019. He won the CHOP, and he has a restaurant in Jersey City, we call it the Four Corners Freetown Road Project. And it's booming, it's doing real good with the conditions that we are dealing with today, you know, with the pandemic, etc. And I hope everybody is washing their hands at least for 20 seconds. There's all different types of soaps that you can use. Wash your hands. I have over there a little spray bottle. I put alcohol and when I come in, do my hands and they don't dry up. Well. They don't look like it. So we have to get started making these crab cakes. Let me tell you, they are so good. Thank you so much, Chef Claude. Thank you so much for sharing this recipe with me and now I can share it with everybody else. Okay, so we gotta get started, but I need to get my wine going. You know, you know me, get that wine going with Domaine Del Rivier. I remember in the beginning when I first started uh, drinking this wine, I had a hard time pronouncing it. <laughs> Marla, she, she dealt with me to help me pronounce. I was saying that Domaine Del Rivier, or it's Domaine Del Rivier. Like Rivier, it's French name. Okay, here's to you. Mm, nice little sip to get started. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is get our blend together. I have an onion that I'm gonna cut up and put in green pepper, green pepper, <laughs> red pepper, some um, breadcrumbs, a little flour, and jalapeno pepper. This is going to get the party started. I love jalapeno pepper and egg. Um, I have two eggs. I'm not gonna use two eggs for this amount. If I was doing two pounds, I would use a good two eggs so I'm gonna use just about an egg and a half. I'm gonna just, 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 Okay. My mayonnaise is here and I am ready. All right, so first thing is our onion. Let me do this. That's my scrap bowl. And what I'm going to do is just slice this this way. Slice it this way. Mm-hmm. And then, I'm just gonna cut it going down, whoops, as such. Let me go back a little bit more. There we go. You gotta be careful because this knife is real sharp. Anything could happen. 
okay? So I'm gonna hold my hand like this in the spider. Notice how I'm holding my knife, all right? I have my fingers wrapped around here. My index finger is here, my thumb is here. Some people cut and they go like this. Nah, don't do that. Hold it like this. You'll have a better handle of the knife and trust me, you'll see. Holding it like this, you go, it's, you know, it's not this way, you got it. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut my onion as small as possible. And look, they're all the same size. Okay. I'm doing a pound of crab meat. So I think this will work. Yeah, I think that should be enough. Let's put this here. And I have my bench scraper. That's extra. Let me move this over to the side. Bam, that's done. Next, red pepper. What I'm, okay. What I'm going to do, I'm gonna slice Julian style first. And notice when I am cutting, the point of the knife is on the cutting board. I'm not going like this. Don't chop. Put it on the board and rock. As you can see, the knife has a curve. And, and if you go like this, practice, you'll see, okay? I have one more cut. All right. Notice how I'm putting the knife down. I'm not working with the knife in my hand because I can cut myself, okay? So, go like this. Rock as you go along. Now, these pieces of green pepper, I'm trying to make them the same size as the onion, okay? Not the red pepper big and the onion small, all right? I want them to be approximately the same size. Okay, this knife is real sharp, I can tell. Okay, here we go. Look at that, see? They're just about the same size. All right, let's take, move that to the size. Next, green pepper. We're gonna do the same thing, the same method. I'm gonna cut so I can have what is called julienne. Julienne is actually um, like matchstick sizes, but this isn't quite, but it is the same method. Okay, I don't need that. You see that? All of them just about the same size. That's what you want, okay? Do this. This is gonna be real good. Trust me. Okay, let's get this. Move them all up together. Then you go. Yeah, you see? And you don't have to rush doing it. You know, you see on TV, the chest is going, bah, 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 bah. You don't have to do that. <laughs> okay. Look at that, see? The same size as the red. Okay. Hear that noise? That's the heat coming up, and I got these lights on me, so you know I'm really burning up. But I don't care because I'm cooking. I love to cook. All right, so we have our green pepper. Mm -hmm. Let's get this to the side. Now I cut, I cut a little extra um, onion. I don't think I'm gonna use that much, but I will see as I go along. Okay, so now that I have this, I'm ready to do my mix. My What's this? Crab meat is over here. It's waiting to be all blended together. I mean, put together and make into patties and put into this pan, which is hot. You do not want the pan to be too hot and you do not want too much oil in the pan. And also you do not need to put, you do not need to take your cakes 
and tap them in flour or breadcrumbs. They will cook just as they are, as you will see it. However, in the meantime, while I formulate and get myself together, I want to stop and let you know that in the future coming up, the show has different segments. I've invited different chefs to come on. Like I mentioned, I had Chef Claude Lewis on, and I had um, Mexi Beast BBQ, both of them wonderful people. Now it's uh, Dana is coming. I invite not just chefs, but house cooks as well, okay? They're all welcome to come on the show and show their talent. So Dana is coming. Then I have, um, oh, one of my good friends, um, she's coming on uh, to perform. I'll tell you a little bit more about her. Her name is Leslie Harrison. She's a jazz singer and she has a little segment. She's going to perform a little bit. And then after that, I have um, Chef, mm, let me see. Well, Chef Anthony, I forgot. I forgot um, Anthony to mention. Chef Anthony has been on already. And also coming up is uh, Chef Jonathan. Jonathan. Uh, chef Jonathan is a celebrity chef, and he's been all around the call, uh, all around the country. He's been on TV, et cetera, et cetera. He's going to come on the show, and then I have a couple of other people coming as well. Okay, so in the meantime, I want you to sit back, relax, and watch Dana Royster, wonderful, wonderful person. I'm sure you're going to enjoy her conversation with me. I'll be right back. Hi, everybody, and welcome back to In the Kitchen with Chef Renee Hewitt. Today, I'm speaking to a very, very good friend who we selected to be on the show in a section that we call Spotlight, a conversation with. Her name is Dana Royster. Am I pronouncing it right, Dana? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Thank okay. You. I met Dana. Oh, I was saying around this time last year, it was Christmas. Um, I came to a house with a good friend of ours, Deborah. Deborah is the one that I says, the best. You know this, when I'm cooking something, Deborah, she always got the best. Well, Deborah introduced me to Dana. We kept in contact from here and there. I had her food. She had some collard greens, baked macaroni and cheese. Um, potato salad. What else did you have? Turkey. Oh yeah, of course the turkey. Probably the ham. Mm-hmm. Um, dressing, homemade D dressing. Yes, yes. She had a spread and her table was set up so beautiful. I mean, it when you walked in her, her, her house rather, it made you feel that it was Christmas and you was at home because the vibes was really, really good. So we stayed in contact. Now Dana belongs to Hudson Community College Continuing Ed Culinary Club. Anyone can join the culinary club. You do not have to be a former student. You do not have to be a student going attending the college. It's open to the general public. So if you if you fix a meal and you say, oh, this looks good, and your family say, oh, look at that, look at that, all you have to do is upload it. That's it. And you never can tell your picture might be, as Dana's was, the picture of the week. And she made blue cheese steak and shrimp. Am I correct, Dana? Yes, I did. Oh, let me tell you, it, it was enough for me just to jump through and grab it. But you know, technology don't allow us to do that. So that's one of those things we got to deal with. But it looked really, really good, as you can see from the picture um, that's, that just popped up. Okay, so Dana, give us a little bit about your background. I, I understand that you're very involved with the church. Am I correct? Yes, I am. I am Dana Royster. I am actually a Jersey Cityan all of my life, but I'm now located in Plainfield and I've been here for about 10 years. I am a master teacher coach. 
and um, that means I coach and supervise teachers that teach preschoolers. Uh, preschool, three year olds to five year olds. So I coach to supervise three to five, three to five year olds. Uh -huh. Talk a little louder, please. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, three to five year olds. Uh -huh. um, I coach and supervise those teachers. Um, I am also a prayer gospel artist. I developed a project uh, 10 years ago and um, I was just selling CDs because I went into the studio and I produced a prayer CD uh, with music on it as well. I have my friends that know how to sing. They sing, I pray. And so um, this summer I did um, a re, what you call it, a, like a re-anniversary, uh -huh. re-launching um, this summer and I went digital. So I'm on major platforms, a lot of uh, streaming platforms. Uh, wow. You the CD, you know, so I'm all excited about that. And also, I um, I am an elder, a newly elder um, in the Lord's Church. And so what that means, I get to baptize people, Christian people. Um, you do? People. You, ba yes. you baptize yes. and marry? I, I can baptize and marry. Wow. Um, and I was a minister, hmm, probably for about a little more than 10 years. So I just became an elder um, during this pandemic because it was a demand on um, people getting um, married and funerals and different things like that. So uh, it just up my servant level just a little more so that I can be able to help the community. But my ministry is called Racer Ministries. It's out here to help the community heal the heart, hurt uh, people, uh, bless the people that need, and also empower people to do um, the will of God. And so that that's is wonderful. I wow. I've been in education for over 20 years. Wow. Yes, because um, you always posting something on social media. Yes. Yes. Her, yes. she pops up and you can see her standing with her outfit on. She be looking off, as you call it, fierce. <laughs> and it's refreshing because there's so much going on in social media that what Dana is doing, you don't see a lot of people doing. In the res in the in the respect of um, posting it, there are, yes, there are a lot of people in the same category as her, but they don't put it out there. And I see it, and she, there is something like every week, uh, Dana is doing something, as well as I'm sure cooking. What was the last thing that you cooked, Dana? Tell us, I tell us, tell us about, tell us. In addition to that, tell us about your background. Um, did you learn how to cook from a grandmother, an aunt, a great grandmother was, you know, recipes yes. passed down? My grandmother, um, she did have me to cook things um, that she liked. She showed me how to cook some things that she liked. But most of my innovative cooking is like from my mother and from my uh, cousin. Um, that's oh. like my mother is like a, a sister cousin to my mother. And so uh -huh. that's my second generation cousin. Um, and my mother, they're the ones that kind of helped me out um, for the bulk of it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And so they give me, what I do is they I talk to them, say I want to make something. They tell me how to make it. They tell me how much I should prepare, you know, how much to prepare, um, how many teaspoons. How many uh, dashes? How many pinches? Yeah. Uh, how many cups? Once they give it to me, I hear it and I'm able to do. You know. And, and, and that's that's good because there are so many people. I didn't have the opportunity um, to get recipes from my grandmother or from my mother um, when I got came into my teens. I early late teens. I wanted to become a DJ. So cooking wasn't there, <laughs> but it's 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 really good when when people like yourself have the opportunity to share recipes that was that was passed down from their from their you know parents and from the great great parents. Um, where are you from? Where's your family from? My family is from North Carolina, Oxford, North Carolina. Oh and really? So, um, yeah, they're Southerners, and so my grandmother 
per se, she loved the southern food. Her yeah. favorite food, I feel like it was beef. Mm -hmm. beef. So know? they have all of those good recipes. Um, I made a, a dish, it was from um, American Indians in the Carolina, Lugby, something like that. The sandwich was a collard green sandwich. And I had never heard of it before, but in short, it was a collard greens. They took cornbread, took the collard greens, drained it, put it on top. Then they made something called chow chow. Chow chow was made with cabbage and green tomatoes. It's all cooked together, that's drained and put on. And I saw it on one of the cooking shows and I was fascinated. And I wow. said, oh my goodness, I have to do this. So I made it. It was outstanding. Okay. So nice. all of the so the recipes are coming from the South, huh? Yes, yes. Wow. Yes. Yeah, you my mother, mm -hmm. she liked the Southern food, but it looked like although she was raised by a Southern and a cook, but she had a gourmet flair to her. She loved oh. cooking shows. Um, I believe. Um, What's his name? Emerald was her favorite. Oh, you know, yeah. As I was coming up, Emerald, and I got a chance to meet him on Good Morning America for Mother's Day. You met him? So I was like, you don't know, you're my grandfather, Emerald. Give me a hug. My mother loves you. <laughs> That's wonderful. Yes. Yeah. And he did like breakfast in bed for a couple um, at Good Morning America. So I finally was able to meet my star grandfather. <laughs> wow. Was a that I love the love. How long ago was this? Many years ago? Mm, I want to say maybe about four years ago. Oh, OK. OK. And he's still on television. He's still doing his thing. Yes. Yes. Now, have, now being that you know you picked up recipes from grandmothers and aunts and et cetera, et cetera. Right. Um, have you had the opportunity to to create your own um, recipe for specific dishes? And if so, is do you take a recipe that from down south and add something to it and make it your own? How how do you deal with that? Wow. I have to think about that because some things I do make my own, um, but I have to think on what did I create. Um, I know sometimes in beans, I might even slice up some garlic. Okay. You know, inside or some uh, onion. That's a little different. I didn't see my grandmother do that. But it yeah. gives a different like flavor. Yeah, it, it's it's still hearty, you know. But it gives a different flavor. Um, mm -hmm. There were times with collard greens. I, instead of crushed pepper, I might use hot sauce to give oh, it that, yeah. that spice, you yes. know, taste to it um, or kick. Um, Meatloaf, I used to see them uh, do eggs and bread. Do when what? I was told eggs and bread. Put bread but, in the meatloaf? Yes. I, I, I used to used do to that. To stretch, to stretch it. D yes. 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 To stretch I, it. Used to t I used to take a roll and break it up, put it on a cookie sheet, put it in the oven under the broiler, and let it get a little hard, and then cool up and I would break it up in two little chunks and put it in the meatloaf. And see, they would put the bread just on top of the meat, season the, season the meat, put the bread on top, and then put the egg and kind of marinate it with their hands. Yes. Through and through, you know, and their hands would kind of break it and mold it. With yes. Them. Um, and they might put some uh, tomatoes, stewed tomatoes or something. Uh, crushed tomatoes in it. So I would do maybe like a tomato paste and a ketchup. Ah. I like to dice up my onions and peppers yeah. to kind of put in it to get that, you know, flair. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I didn't know you. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I, yeah, because I was explained to someone, probably a friend of mine, um, Deborah, 
who I went to culinary school with, um, about taking the, the role and breaking it up and what it did, it stretched it. And then what I used to do many, many years ago, I will boil an egg. And when that meat is open, I put the egg, depending on how, wow, put the uh, boiled egg, cover it up. So when you ate that meatloaf and you sliced it, you got a piece of boiled egg in it. I don't know where it came from, but that was another way of doing that meatloaf. Wow, okay. Yeah. I know sometimes with the ribs, um, I might, I, I'll clean it and season it, and then I probably will pour honey on top of it and let it bake. Oh, yeah, yeah. And yeah. then do my, you know, barbecue sauce. Yeah, yeah. We are, mm -hmm. hey, you know, <clears throat> we are on the same, on the same page, Dana, yeah. when it comes yeah. to food. So <clears throat> before we leave, what does the future look like for you with your food and with the ministry? I'm looking at becoming maybe a private chef huh? or for couples and small parts. I think I can manage that a little bit. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. um, as I came into some big money, maybe I would do a truck, you know, a especially with truck. this pandemic, a food truck yeah. and have, um, like probably start out, but then turnkey to give people opportunities for work. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, oh, and then I want to have my I want to have my family center. So of course, you know, my food I'll cater or have you know people that are turnkey and, and or sous chefs or whatever mm -hmm. they'll be able to you know um, render service uh, food to the community. Wow. Well, I'm sure you'll be able to do it because I sure did enjoy eating at your house and I am not going to lie about it because Deborah, she used to all be hey, Dana. Oh, and she travels all over the country. Every time I turn around, Renee, Dana is going here. She's going there. She's involved with this group. She's involved with that group. And you know, Dana, that is good because it keeps our mind going, especially now that we're in hopefully in the tail end of COVID, um, it keeps us going because so many people are suffering with it mentally. It's, it, you know, it's just breaking them down to the point yeah. where they can't sleep. What I do, if it's on the news, I watch five minutes of it and that's it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I turn it on. this COVID season, I'm uh, decorating my table, Christmas tree, you know, I even had social distance and dinner and, you know, not catch your feelings, ready to catch a flight as soon as this is over. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure. Well, yeah. Jana, this has been really, really, really good. I was very excited when you said yes, that you was coming on the show. I said, Jana's going to be on. Now, <laughs> the next time we are going to watch you cook a dish, the next time you come on the show. Okay. I will have it all set up and have the, you know, you can set up your phone or your camera right there in the kitchen and you can fix a little something and, you know, a little snack or something so we can see you, you know, okay. working, you know? Okay. I'm going to have my music. Can I have my music while I cook? And yeah, I do too, but we have to be careful of with licensing. Okay. With okay. licensing. Right. We have That's to be right. careful with that. Yeah, That's yeah. Right. But otherwise, I'll sing, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> or instrumentals or something, right? <laughs> Just something. We'll we'll try to work it out. I know enough DJs that have their own music and they can sign off on something. That's right, because you was playing house music when I was at your house. That's that it. Night. You know, DJ Quad, DJ. Oh, yeah, Stewart. yeah, yeah, yeah. We have yeah. their phone numbers. Yeah. Because we yeah. love to dance, yes. Well, we will work something out ahead of time. Okay. And I want to thank you so much for deep inside my heart, for taking the time out of your busy schedule and share all of this information with everyone. And we're looking forward to you coming back and cook something. It doesn't have to okay. be gigantic, but you know what I mean. A little, a little something, yeah. something, you know. Give them a little teaser, all right? Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Dana, so Thank much. You. And have you a have a day. wonderful evening and continue to stay safe. Thank you. Mwah. Okay. Wow, wasn't that good? 
isn't Dana? She is such a sweetheart. I really, really, really enjoy meeting her through Deborah. Thank you, Deborah. Dana, as you say, is the best. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so now we're in the process of putting all of this together. One thing I forgot to chop up the jalapeno pepper, but we will do that in a couple of minutes. All right, so I have my crab meat. If you cannot get the lump, the other crab meat is just as well. It doesn't have to, have, have to be, uh, you know, the claws, the lump, okay? Whatever you can get, it will work, all right? This is a pound that I have here right now. So the first thing I'm gonna do is start adding. I'm going to, and what you can also do, add just a little at a time because you can eyeball it and see if you need a little bit more, okay? So that's the green pepper. This is my onion. Okay, coming along. Let me move this. Here is my red pepper. Oh yeah. Let's move this on the side. Move this so I can do my jalapeno pepper. Which I love, I love jalapeno pepper. Yes, already washed. I'm just gonna take off a piece like that for the time being. I'm leaving the seeds in. You do not have to. I don't mind um, jalapeno pepper being hot with some seeds. And look, it's not a lot of seeds anyway, it's just a few. Okay, so I'm gonna cut it like this. Move this. And chop real fine. I don't want to have a crab cake and I have a big old lump of um, jalapeno pepper. I'd be hollering. I said, oh, Renee, you didn't pay attention. Okay. Let's do another piece. I'm gonna cut this in half. Cut, 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 cut. Here we go. Okay. And another piece. Uh huh. See, these are just about the same size, which is good. All right. Let me just go across like this, just to get them to be a little fine, finer. Okay, okay. Da, da, da. As I did before, my name is not Julia Child. However, I just like the way that she talked. It was so fantastic. She is the, the godmother of French cooking, Miss Julia Child. Renee, stop. <laughs> I am crazy. I am enjoying myself. <laughs> Okay, I think this is enough. Just gonna put a little over here. Put this aside and bring over my crab meat. Okay, so the next part, get this, oh yeah, I think this is going to be enough. Yeah. Oh yeah, I can see it's gonna be enough. <clears throat> All right, so. The next part, I want to add some breadcrumbs. This is going to help hold it together. This, I would say, is about a mm, couple of tablespoons. Okay, mix that up a little. And you know, breadcrumbs do hold everything together. I'll see because I might need to add a little bit more. Okay, next, I'm going to add just a little bit of flour. That's going to pull it together. I would say that's just about a teaspoon, tablespoon. That's going to help pull it together. And as you go along making this, you might say, oh, I need a little bit more. Okay. All right. Let me move this to the side. Wipe my hands. And here... <coughs> Let's do this. Here I have my eggs, all right? Let's do this. That's so no pieces don't um, drop in here. But if it does, when you're cracking an egg 
and a piece of the eggshell falls in. If you try to put your finger, you notice you can't get it out right. So what you're gonna do, use the egg, half of the eggshell, and it'll go right back in. Nice little kitchen tip. Who did I get that from? I think Rachel Ray, I got that from her. Okay, and I did it anyway. But, there we go. Now, da, da. Now, Renee, don't act up and crack your little bowl because that would have been truly embarrassing. So Renee was showing off and he cracked the jar, the glass, the bowl or whatever he was using to mix the egg. And he had to say he had to go on commercial. But anyway, life goes on. So I'm gonna take about half of this put that there and mix in now like I said as you go along you might see that you need more oh yeah see this is looking good all right wipe my hands take a sip mm -hmm. mm. oh yeah I can tell you it's 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 warm in here that heat coming up is not helping any. All right, so I'm gonna mix this just a little. Yes, pulling together. I think maybe I'll add a little bit of this for color and maybe just a pinch more of my jalapeno pepper. Okay. I want this to have great flavor, taste to it. So I can say, mmm, this was good. I gonna do this again. I did, I made this before and I was so happy. I really was. But in the meantime, I hope everybody is doing fine. Um, we have a new president, um, whether people agree or not, but we have a new president and vice president as well, which is a good thing. And um, I'm doing good, working on a couple of projects. Here it is. I'm just gonna take just a little, add to here, a little R.L. Shriver's Roasted garlic pepper does wonders for all of your dishes, R.L. Schreiber. Okay, this is great. Ooh, this looks good. Okay, so. <clears throat> I am going to take you and let you look at this commercial while I straighten up everything. And then we're gonna get ready and we are going to fry these crab cakes. And while they are cooking, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to make a nice dip and we're gonna, oh, you'll see what I'm talking about. You'll see, it's, it's gonna look wonderful. All right, so I'll be right back.
Come to Hudson County Community College for courses that transfer to four-year schools and provide credentials for in-demand careers. They're the newest technologies and facilities anywhere and caring professors and staff to help me succeed. A great education and full campus life. All for a fraction of the cost of most four-year schools. Hudson County Community College. Close to home. Affordable. High quality. Life-changing. Register now. Okay, I'm back. We are ready to get started to make these crab cakes. My pan is nice and hot, not too high. I'm gonna give it a little touch of olive oil. There we go. Just to coat the bottom of the pan. Now we are ready. I'm going to slip on some gloves. large gloves because these don't fit properly. Okay. Oh, we got that one done. Yes, yes, yes. This is so much fun. I'm glad you people are enjoying the show. And I hope you make these crab cakes because they are simply delicious. Okay, surgery is ready. <laughs> okay, I'll take my sip to you. I have an ice cream scoop. You do not have to use it. I find sometimes if you use the scoop and I use it to make meatballs, it doesn't really fit on the center, but I just, I use it anyway. Let's make sure this is good, all right? So, I just scoop up some, then I take it in my hand, just a little bit more, because the ice cream scoop really doesn't, it doesn't um, go all the way to the bottom, and then it's all messed up. And you say, no, oh, it didn't work. Oh, what am I gonna do? See, that's a nice size. So I'm going to take this, add it to my pan. Mm, let's make sure this isn't too high. Let's do another. And see, I didn't put any um, flour or anything. Didn't tap it into flour or breadcrumbs or anything um, because it's really not needed in this case. This recipe Chef Claude gave to me is um, Chef Claude is foolproof. It is so good. Look at this. And you can see the seasoning. Oh, this is gonna be so good. Okay, let's do a second one. And of course, this is a non-stick pan. Ooh, we're gonna have four of these. I'm going down tonight, yeah. Now there are all different kinds of ways to make these. Um, there's no such thing as the wrong way. And by the way, when I'm making these, I'm pressing them kind of firm, okay? All right. Here's our third one. Oh, and I can smell it. This one, yeah. It smells so good. Do I have room for another one? I think I might. Let's try. Oh, oh, I smell that. That's good. You can smell the crab meat. Oh, delicious. There we go. I made a little small one. Yeah. Okay. 
let's see. Here's my fork. I want these to get nice and brown. Yeah. Woo, they smell so good. Oh, okay. I can take these off because I'm making four. I got more gloves. Let's put this here. Let's move. Okay, so our crab cakes, our first set of crab cakes, they are doing this thing. I think I'm gonna turn this up just a little bit more because I want them to get nice and golden brown and then they're gonna pull together and then I'll be able to flip them because if they're not, you know, they're gonna break up, okay? So these are looking really good. And let's take a break and I'll be right back. Here we go. See you in a minute. As cool temperatures are upon us, the first thing I think of is soup season and one pot meal. R.L. Schreiber products are the perfect way to start your home style recipes this season. With such a wide selection of concentrated stocks, chili peppers, and flavor-based products, let R.L. Schreiber be the beginning of your end result. Okay, I'm back. Yes, oh, we are ready to put all of this together. As you can see, here are my crab cakes. I finished them while um, you was watching the commercial. Look at them, golden brown, nice size. They're not little tiny ones, these are nice, nice size. Good for you to have um, for lunch or something. So what I did, I made a bed of, of lettuce here. I have the regular iceberg lettuce and I have some butter lettuce. And on top of that, I have some nice fresh spinach. Okay, this is what we can eat this on, all right? So, I'm gonna take these crab cakes and I'm gonna put them on top. But first, I have to make a little, put that there, a little dressing from before. I still have a little bit of the mayonnaise left. I'm adding some sriracha sauce. Yeah, I'm gonna add that to it. Oh, look at the color. I think maybe I can add a little bit more mayonnaise to this. Yeah, okay. Yeah, let me add a little mayonnaise. Be right back. Okay, here we go. Just a little bit more. Oh, that's perfect. Let's set this aside. Yeah. This is going to be, oh, that's perfect. Then my little towel here. My other little part, I'm gonna add some relish. Just a little. Yeah, that will work. We got a little tired of sauce, but we use sriracha. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, it looks wonderful. Oh yeah. Boy, we are really working um, this evening, <laughs> fixing a nice, nice, um, I guess you can call this 
brunch. Yes, some brunch. A little sip. Mm. Okay, I think the heat is going down a little bit because it is really hot in here. All right, so I have my, my crab cakes. I'm just gonna take them and place them right on top like this. Take this one. Oh, look at that. Doesn't that look good? I'm gonna take this one, place it here. And this one, I'm going to place here. Look at that, perfect, perfect. All right, so the next step, I'm gonna add a little of my, I guess you call it tartar sauce, the sriracha. I'm gonna take this, I'm just gonna spoon a little on each. Actually, what I can do is flatten these out a little because our sauce is gonna be all over the place. Okay. Just a little bit more. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Here's some for this. Oh yeah. Some for this one. Mm. A little bit more for you. Wow. Really good. Look at this. And to top it off, I'm adding a little salsa. Yes, you can make some at home. If you can't make it, you can go and, and get it from the store. It's already prepared. And I'm just gonna take a little, put it on top. Mm -hmm. This is gonna give it that little kick. Oh yeah, look at that. I'm oh, 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 this is going to be to die for, as the Borva says, to die for. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Wow, look at that. Isn't that fantastic? I know if you live near me, you'll be saying, Renee, can I come by? I'll say, I hand it to you at the door because, you know, we have to stand six feet away. That's okay. I'm coming, Renee. <clears throat> Let's move this out the way. And look at this. We have some fantastic crab cakes. Remember now, I added just a little bit of flour. I added a little bit of um, breadcrumbs, not the panko, the regular seasoned breadcrumbs. You can add to that if you like onion, I did green pepper, and I also did jalapeno pepper. That's just to pick it up a little bit. I added R.L. Schreiber's um, roasted garlic pepper to it. That's to give it a little bit more flavor, okay? I did the egg. If you um, prefer not to use the egg, you don't have to because the mayonnaise and the breadcrumbs is going to hold it together. I took it Filled the bottom of the pan with, I cook with olive oil, you don't have to. And then I made a nice little sauce to go on top of it, which is the mayonnaise, which is the relish, and which is the sriracha, mix that up. And then I have the salsa to go on top. And here it is. It's wonderful. It's good for, uh, for brunch. It is fantastic. Shazam, boom. Thank you so much, so much for stopping by and, and watching me cook these wonderful meals. Um, I try to fix recipes, cook recipes that are, I would say simple, not recipes that are really difficult, you know, for you to do. You might come home and you want to fix something real quick um, after church, which reminds me to mention to you, Badami TV, I will be on there. Um, I believe it's coming next week. I will let you know <clears> today. <throat> they have their gospel series. And what they asked me to do is to prepare um, a dish 
that when someone comes in from church, they have the opportunity um, to fix something real quick, okay? And what did I do? I made some codfish cakes. These little recipes, they're small, they're quick, they're easy to make. You don't have to go through, you saw the, the ingredients I have, all of the stuff you have at home, all of it except for maybe um, for the catfish, uh, the catfish, you hear me, I'm thinking catfish. <laughs> Okay, Renee, you know, you've had it. Um, and, and for the crab meat, you just go out and buy it. And like I said, if you cannot get a hold of the claw, you could use the, the regular one. It, it, you know, it's all going down the same. Make them into little patties, put them in the pan, let them get brown, flip them over, and then do whatever you want afterwards, okay? <laughs> all right, so once again, Thank you so much for being here. And I look forward to seeing you again. The next episode, that is when, hmm, 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 hmm. Who do you think is coming on? I mentioned to you before. Yes, Miss Harrison, she is going to, um, she's going to perform one of her songs uh, through video of course, um, because you know, you can't be, you know. So Leslie Harrison is gonna be here and I know that you're going to enjoy it. Her voice is simply superb, excellent, excellent artist. So with that, you'll be able to sit back and enjoy it. Um, I haven't decided what I'm gonna fix for that show, but I'm sure it's gonna be something good. So once again, here you are, Chef Renee Hewitt's Crab Cakes. Until next time. Bye-bye. Come to Hudson County Community College for courses that transfer to four-year schools and provide credentials for in-demand careers. They're the newest technologies and facilities anywhere and caring professors and staff to help me succeed. A great education and full campus life. All for a fraction of the cost of most four-year schools. Hudson County Community College. Close to home. Affordable. High quality. Life-changing. Register now. As cool temperatures are upon us, the first thing I think of is soup season and one pot meal. R.L. Schreiber products are the perfect way to start your home style recipes this season. With such a wide selection of concentrated stocks, chili peppers, and flavor-based products, let R.L. Schreiber be the beginning of your end result.